Robert E. Lee is going to launch in the shallow water. It's going to be an interesting launch. So, Wiseman is on the tracker, Mike is on the boat. It means Free Spirit might launch as well. I think I'll also see Asterix coming, I might be mistaken. So, there's a little gully to the left of Mike. He's going to get some speed. He's gonna hope he's gonna float over that sandbank with that one over filling up the sandbank. So far so good. <laughs> okay. Well done Mike. And there's Asterix arriving. He won't be doing much flying today, although there's some nice white foamies that he has to get over. Sorry my voice pitches high and low, but that's the problem with the built-in microphone. I forget that I have to talk loud and constantly. And that the artificial intelligence will keep on hunting for extra noises to record. Dion arriving on Baba Zonke. Let's see how Mons is offloading his boat. And hooking it in the front. Loosening the breakneck of the trailer, tying down everything that might be in the way. That's Queen Pine and Barent and Johan Lange and Climax. Have you guys read your the tight line sheet about the opening of the St. Lucia Eastry Mouth? I haven't. I must get mine today. Climax is a little bit heavy for the shallow water. But just wait for the tide to come in and the conditions will improve. I can somehow make the deduction Barent is training a new skipper or a deckhand, but it looks like a skipper. He has to trim up the motors, he has to unhook the boat. Zonke being offloaded, Queen Pine being offloaded. It's busy here at the launching site. Baron getting the feet of his new red tractor wet there. Dion has to turn in the shore dump. Baron turning sharp to the right. It's just getting the feet wet, he didn't run into the water there. Getting ready to offload over there. Remember the other day I couldn't remember what motors he was powered on and couldn't figure it out. Now I can see I just don't know how many horsepower. I think it would be about 200. We'll have a look now. That was the easy offload there for Climax. Bar and the helping Mons to hook up there. So 
nice quiet gully so Wiseman is just going to push them into the gully just get them away from the sand getting the Landini's feet wet there but staying away from the waves Mars pushing hard with his motor trim die trimming the Suzuki's down that's about his running height with them keeping the nose high water on the sandbank than I thought now that I stand at this angle I can see there's quite a bit of water in that gully over there man's gonna turn is he gonna face it is he gonna turn is he gonna face it he's gonna face it it's another big one behind that one is he gonna turn is he gonna face it he has to face it smooth out a lot there in the gully Big one standing up, Mons is going to turn. Doesn't want to come back all the, the way because then he has to fight his way back to that spot. He's going to jump that one for us and there's the flying asterisk. Oh no, oh, I missed. I missed read that one. Well done Mons, you got me on that one. Damn. And that's the launch. And Bambazonke being pushed into the gully. I believe he's been propelled by two 200 Suzuki's. One motor started, trimmed down. Another motor started trimming down. Jan checking his motors out. He's happy with the trim. He's looking at the waves. Checking his distance to the side there. Looking over his shoulder at the gap. Sorry, I was looking what Leon is looking. I can't see on the small screen. I can see it better with the naked eye. And he's on the power. He's running for the gap, he's gonna have to jump that foamy over there. Oh, that was a smooth one over. Years and years of experience makes it look so easy. Well done, Dion. Happy hunting. <gasps> Wiseman struggling to find the gear there. Don't worry, Wiseman, next year they come in the rubber. Wiseman stops, he gives him the last nudge before he stops. Barrett's running the trims high. Watching the motors not eating too much sand. Trimming them down a little. Also many years of experience since a youngster. Trimming down, trimming down. To 100 Yamaha's ready to thump the boat through the surf zone. Barron's happy with the trim. He's watching the waves, what they're doing, edging towards the gully. And he's on the power. either going to have to turn or make a jump slight little jump there another nice little jump there thanks for the action bar and not much but some action 
Nice launch. Happy hunting. Like a pro. Yes, like a pro, Baron. Like Yay, pro. we've got a push. The Yamaha starting there. Weissman stops short of getting the tracker wet. And he pulls away from that short down quickly. Johan is keeping his boat as trim die. Let's see if we can see what the power on those things are. Yes, two 200 Yamahas. And I'm having running out of battery here. I don't think I'm going to finish this launch. Johan is running north. Your mars are roaring there. I missed your, your airtime that you bought there. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why the camera battery ran out. I need to get another one. Or replace this one, either or. I need to get another battery. Or maybe I forgot to charge it after I came back with Free Spirit. I don't know what went wrong. My humble apologies. Hope you catch a lot of fish.